Hello, I am Dr. Nanda Kishore. I am a pediatric intensivist and ECMO specialist. I am going to talk about uh, what ECMO means and how it is useful in a uh, patient care. ECMO stands for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. Means we will be able to provide oxygen supply from outside the body. Okay. Uh, it's a life saving technology. Uh, for example, if a patient has a bad pneumonia where he cannot support himself, the first step in the management is to give him more oxygen. And the next step if the patient is still not able to manage, uh, put them on ventilator. Usually it happens in a hospital in intensive case setting. So even on ventilator if one cannot be supported, next step would be put them on ECMO. The uh, basic principle is uh, what are the lungs are doing function that is uh, gas exchange that, in, that means oxygen intake and carbon dioxide removal will be taken care by the another machine that is ECMO. The, the way we will do it is uh, we will put a big catheters into the body and whatever the blood is going to the lungs will be diverted uh, outside to the body and run it through artificial lung where this gas exchange happens and the blood is put it back into the patient's circulation again. So thereby what it achieves is it gives rest to the lungs at the same time it will help to patient to sustain life until uh, lungs recover. It is a supporting mode of um, uh, uh, treatment where it, it only supports the body until lungs recover. So it is not curative. So lungs have to get better say for example you have an infection with antibiotics, lungs have to get better. But until then, one can be supported. It can be done for few days to weeks, depending how much ever lungs takes to recover. And at KIMS, we have a facilities to provide uh, uh, this life saving technology for the last four years. Uh, we are proud to say that we are the first center in, in uh, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh to start ECMO program and we have done the highest number so far in the twin states. And we have done from one day old baby to almost 65 years old adults with uh, good outcomes. This sort of services would need a team effort. Uh, we would need a team of specialists who are specialized in taking care of the patient in ICU, uh, who is specialized in running the uh, extracorporeal circuit and the specialized nurses who can take care of the patient. Uh, so we would need a team who is dedicated and motivated. At KIMS, we have fortunate enough to have all the team members who are specialized in these things. And our team specially trained from UK uh, and we are able to provide services on par with uh, developed countries. At KIMS, we also have taken the lead to spread this technology so that it will be available for more and more people. Uh, as it needs a specialized uh, team and uh, infrastructure, it cannot be done in a smaller setup, but obviously would need a bigger hospital and dedicated team. We have uh, conducted many uh, numerous training programs and trained uh, people from across the India. And we also done the first international conference uh, in association with uh, ELSO. Uh, ELSO stands for uh, Extracorporeal Life Support Organization. It is an organization based in America which oversees the ECMO related work all over the world. And we are proud to say that we are one of the recognized centers in India by ELSO for the ECMO program. Thank you.